Sampai jumpa start in about a minute or so. Friday Eve has been a good one. Alrighty. Go ahead and get started. So, last time on Sea of Stars, our uh, dear friend Garl unfortunately passed away. Uh, after completing his last quest with us. And we, of course, appropriately grieved. But uh, now we are getting ready to actually go through the Sea of Stars. Um, now, I do remember briefly that I wanted to do a few things before uh, I continue with the story. Mostly I wanted to um, trade in my uh, rainbow shells for more goodies. Since I, you know, gathered quite a few of them last time. Alright, we are currently in Moon Cradle. I still love how pretty and bioluminescent Moon Cradle is. I just think it's the coolest dang thing. Oh, I forgot to gather these. Nice. Glad that they, you know, listened to him when he said he wanted to be buried beneath that willow. Because boy, is it pretty. Well, I'm almost kind of sad that, you know, as the founder of Mirth, 
I feel like he should have, you know. Well, then again, he barely got to be a part of Mirth, so. Oink. like cave mushrooms for a balanced meal. We can set sail. I should probably also go. To, I believe Watcher Island is where I need to go for. Um, what was it? The. In order to uh, trade in my shells. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. those tomatoes up there. Oh well. I was gonna have to do all that again. Oh, there's a shell that I messed up there. That's right. see what it's trying to do. didn't work. Oh, well, might help if I
hitting the wrong button. I think that's the right. If you put stars in a C, it wouldn't be a C for much longer. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. if this works. Hopefully it does. Come on. There we go. We got it. this song it kind of makes me think of like an 80s anime battle sequence lucent crystal boost charge when initiating um, combat. You also have the displays non-boss enemy HP in combat. Uh, I'll go with the Lucent Crystal. But hey, I got the conch that I needed, so sweet. using Rashawn. Miss <laughs> Corpleton, yes. Oh, wait, there's apples over there. I'm gonna grab those. Never turn up your nose at free food unless you know it's not going to help you. <laughs> if it's poisonous, don't bother. Stan wizards with shadow faces here. He's he's an alchemist. He is the immortal alchemist. He has power over time. 
which is one of the re one of the like one of the reasons why he's just a really neat character. He was also like the uh, the original narrator when we first started the game. Close enough. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you could can you know count him as a wizard. He kind of is in a way. He just makes potions. That does that do wizardy stuff for him there. All right, find the child. There you are. She kind of looks like a blue Toriel, but miniaturized. Time potions, indeed. Got fishing hut plans. Falcon-eyed parrot. What is the, what's the falcon-eyed parrot? Is that like a, what is that supposed to be? an important thing. Engineer figuring... Oh. I'm so confused. See where the thing was. Uh, what's on the rewards? Falcon Eye Parrot. Well, I've got about half of the rainbow shells that I need. Although, I think I have all the cogwheels that I need if I wanted to play against the clock tower, dude. I think he would be at Sentinel Island if I remember correctly. I was like, I can probably get to... Oh yeah, I can still get to Rashawn's tower. They're here. To the archives! The glacial peak. I don't, it's not necessarily where we need to go. to be eaten. You're not going to let me be eaten, though. <laughs> torment Peak. Sacred Grove, where we had our run-in with the uh, with the Mama Gorilla. So I'm gonna have to just make my way back out through the jungle.
Wih. Float down the river. Looks like a pretty JRPG. It is really nice. I think it's very well done. Woohoo! Wee! Steal this wheat. Someone may have planted it there, but. They clearly didn't care what happened to it afterwards. What's my earliest JRPG game? Ooh, um... If I really, really think about it, technically, it probably would have been Pokémon. Because, um, my earliest platformer would have been Spyro. I think Pokemon would have been my first. Must have been in Japan for it to mean something. Oh no, I still remember because I had Pokemon Blue first. Uh, and my very first starter was Squirtle. Um, then after a while, I had ended up, for some reason, switching it out for Pokemon Pinball. Um, and then later on I ended up getting Pokemon Red. Um, and then the first Pokemon game that I actually, you know, went all the way and, you know, beat the Elite Four and everything, uh, was Pokemon Emerald. By the time that came out, I actually had the patience for it. <laughs> um... But, oh man, yeah, I went hard. <laughs> Tell me about it, because I didn't know about all the whole, you know, the EV training and stuff. Yeah, no, I was the, I was like, I was that, was like, I was that kid that would, you know, pick a specific Pokemon or have my starter, and that would just be the one that I would just train to take out everything in my stud. I was terrible. <laughs> ah. Now, um... <laughs> Nerd girl. Now the first JRPG, um, other than Pokemon that I that I completed was I think it was Lunar, uh, the Silver Star story for the Game Boy Advance, and I have really good memories of that. Mostly because originally I sucked at it so bad I could not defeat the second boss. <laughs> And then I lent it to my friend, and she's like, Oh yeah, I finished it, it was great! And I was like, did you have trouble on, this, on that second boss in the series? She's like, no! I beat it! She's like, I, I beat it on the first try! And I'm like, well, dang! So I think it was because of her that I actually, you know, gained the wherewithal to actually beat um, Lunar. And boy, was I really glad. But yeah, when I say that I got really stuck on that second boss, I couldn't tell you why. Because I was like over leveled for the area, I kept going in, and I was getting my butt beat. <laughs> Alright, let's see, check our map. Um, there's Rest, Mesa Island, Shrine Island. I should probably visit the Settler's Island, because, um,. I have some stuff that I need to give to them.
like a boot thing or something. Can't remember. Like the boss? The second boss in um, in Silver Star Story was the sewer um, dragon um, that runs like the the dude that you know ran away with Ramus's money. He escapes through the sewers. Yeah, that one. Like I said, don't ask me why it was so difficult for me, it just was. <laughs> Granted, I was like in, I think, fourth grade at the time. I was third or fourth grade when I was playing that. So I was still pretty young. Back when my um, Game Boy Advance... <laughs> like back when my Game Boy Advance required AA batteries, so I had to plan out when I could save. What was I doing? <laughs> I think I was doing my best not to cheat by looking at game facts. <laughs> Have you ever, um, it's like, did you ever play, you didn't even know about Game Facts? I learned about Game Facts from an older cousin, I think, at the time, because, I, you know, because I, once again, you know, having trouble with games isn't anything new. I wish you knew. <laughs> I use the crap out of Game Facts, especially if I get stuck on something specific, and it's, you know, it's like, and I've tried everything that I can think of to get around. You know, I try, you know, I try my best to figure it out myself first, but if I'm real, if I am well and truly stuck, then, uh, you know, I'll look up the answer, because, you know, I want to enjoy the story, too. <laughs> Also, I, I also used to play, um, what was it, Dragon Quest Monsters, uh, but not the original one because that was a Japanese exclusive, but I actually didn't play uh, Caravan Heart uh, until much, much later because they didn't have an English translation for that, um, but Terra's Adventure, I had Dragon Quest Monsters, Terra's Adventure, and that one has some pretty, you know, some nice... Uh, you know, like, that one has some good memories for me, mostly because there was, like, a... not really a dirty joke, uh, in the game. And it completely flew over my head as a kid. Um, but it happens on really, you know, it happens, uh, really early on in the game. And, uh, you know, she's, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> there, there was uh, like this one lady in the desert area um, that you could talk to, and you know you're it's like because you're trying to ask you know how do you have a plug for you know this what they were calling a navel, which you know of course at the time I didn't realize was similar to like you know a hole or a belly button, <laughs> and you know she was like uh, you know a plug for this navel. She's like I don't know what that. Like, I don't know anything about that, but I can show you my navel on the sly. <laughs> and I still remember that line, and it wasn't until I was so much older that I finally realized she was offering to show her stomach. Like, they put that in a kid's game. <laughs> Thank God I didn't know what that meant as a kid. 
Like, it would have been fine if she said, oh, it's like, I'll just, you know, I can show you my navel. I mean, it's not that much better, but the fact that she adds on the sly is like, Lady, this is a child you're talking to. <laughs> yeah, Japan's weird. Got fish. Welcome to Mirth's one and only fishing house. I want to thank you again for letting me use this place. It's a fisherman's dream come true. Oh! Check my species list. Myth reel rod and a bearing reel. Nice! Um, and then I didn't get into Final Fantasy until uh, one of my older uh, cousins um, was playing Final Fantasy X and I just happened to be in the room. That'll be fun. Super old, though. <laughs> I mean, I'm not much younger than you are, probably. Um, I do remember my like I had um, Final Fantasy one and two for the Game Boy Advance. And I ended up playing through uh, both games. And I was like really pissed at one point with the first one because one of my favorite characters uh, ended up dying. And I was just like, you know, if there was ever a rage quit moment, that would have been it. <laughs> Green time! All the vegetables. It looks like Mirth is doing pretty good. Definitely starting to look like a proper town now. Even if some of the uh, places are still thatched with, like, you know, um, leather, it looks like. You just wrote what these people are eating. It'll grow back really quick. They have the blessing of uh, the, wa the water that we went and got for them. It'll grow back like in, you know, five minutes. <laughs> visit my old friends in Brisk soon, see how they're holding up. I went to the crypt. I'll take one more visit if I am to take it all in. Yeah, the crypt is huge. You like the voice acting? that I need to go. I got those, like, I traded in my rainbow shells. Oh, you know what? I think I needed to go... Not 
Hiker's Rest. It might have been Mesa. Was it Mesa Island? Or no, it was Wraith Island, wasn't it? That has the clock tower. I need to play the ultimate last game of uh, Wheels. ship is weird, by the way. Um, well, this isn't what I was thinking of, but you know what? I should visit. I'll, I'll visit the townspeople here because I haven't been here in a hot minute. I haven't been back to Lucent uh, since I left, really. Yoink. It was all true, you really did it. Like the night shroud is staying, but to be rid of the banshee, no more fear. Dear visitors, if I may trouble you, one of my two brothers has recently found himself out of Lark. I promised to put in a word for him. Would you happen to be aware of an opportunity fit for an innkeeper? Why, yes! Yes, I do. Mirth, you say? This does sound like the perfect opportunity. I will send him a message and forward your invitation right away. Thank you. You're welcome. Sweet. She's gone? You should be celebrating. Why are the adults still afraid? I'll probably go back and check the uh, manor. I did, but I'm gonna check again. Yep. game that I could get to work. Whoa! Oh my goodness, it's a live trade! <laughs> thank you! Thank you, V-Ron! I appreciate! Thank you for the five gifted stubs! And of course, for the hype train! Heck yeah! That's cool. I almost never get a hype train. Yucky night.
I hope y'all are like prepared for tomorrow. <laughs> We're going to be sticking with mostly American stuff. Um, just because, you know, it's July. Yes, I know it's the end of July. But... <laughs> America. <laughs> Merrick's. He. Try and le learn more about America. Only in America. gonna be a lot of country music, just saying. Most likely. I myself did not grow up with a whole lot of country music, but I did grow up with Shania Twain, so... That was awesome. Oh yeah, I hit the button. saw Shania last week in Ireland. Nice! American music really uh, resonates with your parents. I mean, I also find certain things, even, you know, certain music, even if it's not necessarily in English, I still appreciate a lot of uh, stuff that most people probably wouldn't. I have an appreciation for international stuff. Pretty sure. Oh, have I not been in here? Huh. I didn't realize that I had missed that. Oh, good thing I checked. But, I mean, I'm. It's like, I'm part Irish. Uh, and so I really appreciate, you know, more Celtic stuff as well. Still trying to get into German. <laughs> I suppose as far as classical music goes, German sounds really good uh, when it's sung classically. And of course, you know, Irish. Because a lot of the church's music a lot of the famous hymns that we all sing um, were done, like, were, you know, written by Irish men and women. How do I get to you, my friend? To that mm. there's gotta be some kind of secret thing that I've missed. I 
do also vaguely remember that there was a ghost that I couldn't interact with last time I was here. Every time I would look at her, she'd disappear. Apparently I missed a couple things. Shuffle, Was it this room? No, it was another room. It was over here. This one. It's her. She just kind of disappears. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to direct with her or what. It took me way too long to figure that out. Nothing over here. Nope. I do think that this area is probably one of the coolest even if it is, like, hella spooky. Uh, I don't really need to go through that whole thing again. Not worth it. I'd love it if I could get up there to get that treasure chest. Take it as a win. Right. Let's see if I can visit um, that one dude in the witch's swamp. old witch the one the only one that we actually fought <laughs> Witch, the wicked witch, ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Ding dong, 
cheerio, sing it high, sing it low. Ding dong, the wicked witch is dead. Yes. Hi. <laughs> the way you, the way you phrase that, I was like, did I say something wrong? <laughs> Way to clap. That emote is cute. are a little bit more difficult to get across uh, text-based. it off. be a little bit too high for me now. Yep.
Indeed. question is where else do I need to go <gasps> oh I know I I know what to do there's only two keys Yoink. Yoink. And voila. We did it. Found the shimmering staff and sword. And found a solstice, solstice shit sash. Woo. La la la. It looks like we have several things that we might need to do before we continue on. Like a Phillips head <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> Not at this time, but maybe later when I have my own place. I was like, definitely I'll need it for a farm. At the very least, I was like, I although I'd probably invest in a more like power tools because then I won't be so tired afterwards, but. Was one shrine down. I need to find some of the other shrines and get through them first. Okay. The shim- the sim- Bleh. I cannot say it. The shimmering staff and stuff doesn't really... Okay. Thorn and the arcane amulet. Power belt. Change its scarf. What does the sash do? Oh! Magic sash. Attack. Okay. Yeah, I'll give him that. Thank you. 
<laughs> I forgot that they do that. That's still so funny. been in here. Oh, already been in there. There he is. <sighs> you, sir, I wish to talk with you. could remember. I don't have anything for him. Uh -huh. Ah. 
That works. of some sort. It might be something I can only find at the, uh, at the mansion. Always take out the magic user first. She probably has, has no intention of letting me back in. Mm. Yes, I've already bullied my way past this whole thing before. the Duke of Aventry. Whatever it is, I have not come upon it in my travels yet. Or at least I don't think I have. Like that, let me take a look <laughs> before I go any further. Okay, so um, we actually can't do this uh, side quest yet. There's an ability we do not have, and we will not have until it's almost the end game. So, there's nothing I can do for him right now. But, if I come back later with that ability, um, I have to do that side quest to unlock the true ending for this game.
true ending. The trending. Uh, how do I get back up there? Ah. Well, that's easy enough. Yoink! Solstice Shrine Island and see if I've done that particular shrine yet. There's no dock. How am I supposed to get there? Eh. Check the other um, island. Liability for these? if this is also a like if the shrines are also like a side quest that I need to do oh 
Okay, it is a side it is a side quest. Once again, the ability that I need for that other side quest is the same one that I'll need to reach those islands. Alright, we'll just continue on to the Sea of Stars for now until I get that ability. Where am I? Where's the island? I go behind it by accident. They're like, no, you can't go this way. Hey, fine. Jeez. There's the clockwork tower. Oh yeah, I still wanted to play Cox with that, uh, was like with the master person. I think I've gotten all of the games. I should be able to play with him now, I think. You, Froxus, but don't forget that you too are utterly amazing. You've been sailing for uh, 39 years, and you've never seen anybody with your sailing skills drifting a sail boat like that. It's just natural. Be silly, you haven't beaten all the champions yet. Ah, I still have more champions than I need to beat. Okay. One forty-seven on a Monday, it's like uh, Monday morning slash night. That's too strange of a reference. It's one that I, it's a reference that I personally am not familiar with, or at least not, um, not at first. Are you talking about, like, um, like the Ark? Oh, Life of Pi. Okay, I actually never saw Life of Pi. I know about it, but I, I never watched it. I had a lot of people were, like, super impressed with the CGI of that. Show my disappointment about not being able to challenge the ultimate master of cogs. I'm going to steal all of their food. It's stuck with you? Oh, you've only read the book. Okay. Yeah, I haven't read the book either. This wasn't one of the ones that was on my, my radar. Uh... I was like really into reading um, like older children's books. Like I used, 
Like, I was, like, determined to read some of the older children's books, so I ended up reading... Gosh, um... I ended up reading Heidi, which is, like, one of my favorites, and always has been. The dinosaurs in Jurassic Park were real. <laughs> um, I also read A Little Princess Sarah, which was also a movie. Um, that I haven't watched in years, but I remember that that movie I used to watch all the time. Uh, call life a pie for middle schoolers. Sure, I've already done this solstice shrine. Yeah, I've already done this one. Woohoo! Eat us, my friend. We need to go back to Punty. Woo! Four hundred sixty pages and a lot scarier than Brian Jacques' stuff. If there was a book that I and I didn't read this book because I wanted to, it was it was um it was something that our language arts teacher um, made us read. It was part of the curriculum. Um, and it's to date probably... It's not my most hated book. Uh, I reserved that for Catcher in the Rye because I could not stand that book. Absolutely hated it. Um, but it is probably one of the more violent books that I've ever read and I just couldn't get into it. It was uh, Blood Meridian by Paul McCarthy and it was just like one of the most hopeless books I have ever read nothing good happens in that book <laughs> it's just it's just violence and hopelessness uh, for the sake of just hopelessness like the Beatles <laughs> Um, I believe that uh, Blood Meridian is, in fact, so, um, it's just, it's so violent that it can't be made into a movie. That isn't to say, um, one of, we not reading Black Library books at Warhammer. <laughs> uh, although I did read a lot of mysteries. Uh, Joan Lowry Nixon was a was an author that I like to read a lot. Was it Cormac McCarthy? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I meant to say Cormac McCarthy, not Paul. I get them mixed up because McCarthy. True silver daggers. I already have true silver daggers. Hello down there. I'm the local craftsman. Some of the smaller jewels I create should be just your size. Want to take a look? Alright, first, I'm gonna sell that. Sword. Go ahead. Do that. But yes, um, Cormac McCarthy um, is the one who wrote Blood Meridian. Is 
Look, I already woke the sleeper dude. I don't know what you're talking about. think it you could name a worst book of all time for you Skyland all oh, right I need to talk to the council members don't I Walden would be in the running. You have returned. We are sorry about the passing of your friend. Our world has lost a kind soul indeed. Thank you. The sleeper has been soothed and hasn't been awoken. So it has. You would claim the reward then? Yes. We demand access to the Sea of Stars. Are you prepared for the voyage? We are. Mumble mumble. They know what to expect. We don't know what the Sea of Stars even is. I just realized that I can see the dragon uh, in the background. <laughs> He's just slithering across the sky. What was his new name? He has like a butler name that uh, was given to him by Garl before Garl passed away. And now I can't think of it. <laughs> It is the very passage you seek in order to see this journey through. It lies at the core of our world. The infinitely great within the infinitely small. How do we get to it? We shall get to that in due time. First of all, travelers must be registered. Please gather your group. Uh, you guess. <laughs> Honorable Council, if you would, could make an exception, I would like to go as Captain Cliché. My crew, they... Mumble, mumble. We will allow it. Thank you. Okay, let's get a, gather everyone and form a line. We are registering everybody. Present yourselves, travelers. Lunar Monk Valer. Next. Solar Blade Dancer Zale. Next. Next. <laughs> Pirate Captain Cliché. Next. I'll travel across the Sea of Stars or my name is not Keenathan. Puppy show. Roll and name, please. Pirate Wind Mage Keenathan. Mumble, mumble. The error must be on our end. We will disregard it. Next. <laughs> Pirate Quartermaster, Jack Valtrade. This is the first time I've seen his entire name.
Jack of all trade. They really did that. I know that they're all supposed to be some kind of like, you know, pun. This is the first time that I've seen his entire name actually spelled out. Next. Oh, I need... Uh, pirate first mate, Yolanda Ernest, well-meaning, de demolition, busy lookout, practically anytime service, fort wall. Founder. Next. Ghost Navigator Hortense. Already cleared from a previous trip. Next. Traveling Historian Teeks. All clear. Luana. You are the leader of this group. Yes. We hereby grant you access to the Sea of Stars. Allow us. Four sunken giants mark the entrance. Now go and sail away to where you are most needed. Thank you. We will use this gift to bring about peace. Godspeed. All right, let's go! There we go. It's like, come on. All right, um... I can probably... Well, maybe. I believe I should be able to get down there. Maybe. Granted, this place is floating. Sky Shrine. Pretty area. Okay. Whoop. That works. Trek to the center of the world. Not pretty. Down we go. Oh, journey to the center of the earth. <laughs> 
I read like the kids version of uh of I've read um like the literary classics, you know, like the the simple ones. Um I think that's where I got like my jumping off point when it came to classics. Oh, uh, those ones I read like Jekyll and Hyde and I had read 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Not a bad way of doing it. Yeah, I mean for you, I was in like, you know, third, fourth grade, so those were perfect for me. I did much the same with Shakespeare. J and H. What else? I also read. Uh, oh, I I had also read um, their version of Moby Dick as well. Yeah, I can I can think of it. The other reason why I had read Moby Dick was because um, uh, what was it? I used to read a comic book. Um, it was called Bones, and the main character was obsessed with Moby Dick. The comic itself was pretty good too. To this day, I have no idea what um, Phone Bone was even supposed to be exactly. Or his cousins, for that matter. Like, I don't think, th I don't think the comic ever specified what exactly they were. <laughs> they weren't human, I can tell you that much. Nor... Uh, you got some old children's books, stories from old Swedish folklore, and they're horrible. <laughs> Something other wants to eat you or make babies. <laughs> Oof. Um, my grandmother actually used to have this book. It was like a leather-bound copy of um, all the Grimm's brothers' fairy tales, and I read the crap out of that book. I loved it so much. Bones came out after you were an adult. Or after you were into adult books, got it. I technically read Moby Dick before Bones, but I think I... I was like, I think I, you know, like, read it a second time after. Definitely preferred the comic book, of course, but, you know. I also um, read, like, the children's version of some Shakespeare, and uh, I learned that I really, really liked The Twelfth Night. That's my favorite Shakespeare play. <sighs> Yo, look at this! Oh, that is so cool! Oh, uh, look at this! This is so cool! I love it! I have nowhere... I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm gonna go! I guess I'm gonna follow that. That looks suspicious. Yo!
I think we just, uh... I think we just broke the dimensions. We weren't... We ceased to be 2D for, like, five seconds. <laughs> it's really dark. How far from home are we? I wouldn't ask that question, Valer. You might not like the answer. How you feel after a couple of smokes? Ah, we've reached the sci-fi you know, part of our adventure. Intruder alert. Oh god, it's Gladys! Entities from another world have breached the compound. Commencing elimination. Watch out! Hey, Sunny! Welcome! Good luck. Oh, that's... <laughs> to science fiction voice indeed it is good <laughs> dance it out Take that. Indeed. He'll heal himself. There we go.
fine. Let's go! So this is a new one, I haven't seen this one yet. I'm going to incinerate them with the power of the flipping sun! That was beautiful. seems so advanced. There's nothing like this mentioned in any records. Taste the sun. <laughs> oh, snap! Welcome to my world. We desperately need you. So Sarai is, a, is a, an android? A cyborg? Sarai. Why didn't you tell us? I guess she's uh, an android. I couldn't find the words. Would you have stuck around if you knew? Of course. We'd be nowhere without you. My world fell to the Flashmancer a very long time ago. It's completely lost. Up above, Sky Base produces nasty clouds that prevent sunlight from reaching the surface. And the moon. He sank it into the ocean. Do you understand? The moon and the sun disconnected. No more children of the solstice. Will you help? You know we will. Where do we begin? By visiting my home. I've been away for far too long. My people, are they like me? Yes. One by one, we were turned into cyborgs by the Wicked Catalyst, a sentient evil machine. So she is technically like, so she's saying she's a cyborg. <laughs> Which is different from an android. Cursed by immortality in this form, my people linger helplessly while the Dweller of Dread slowly feeds on their souls. Sarai, I am so sorry. You can help. This is exactly why I left. To find Solstice Warriors. To find you. If we can remove the clowns, the moon will shine again. Then the Dweller of Dread would be made vulnerable. We will cleanse your world, I swear it. And I swear it too. Thank you. Getting to Sky Base won't be easy, but a lead might have been found while I was away. Let's make for Rapine, my hometown. I want to show you what we are fighting here. What about the Fleshmancer? His lair lies on a flying piece of land. I have absolutely no idea how to get there. Okay. First things first. Let's visit your place. Rapine is on Cerulean Island, east of the exit from here. Derelict Factory might pose a challenge, but I suppose we've been through worse. Alright. Lead the way. Uh... 
Let's see what's going on in here. Assuming this is where Rapine is. Derelict factory. All right, let's go. This is kind of cool. Very moon-ish. Campfire feels cozy and warm, but there's no fire. <laughs> World without sun. Ah, that works. Here we go, friends. Woohoo! Yo! Whoever did the music uh, deserves a raise. at that time. help if I stopped hitting the caps lock. I keep meaning to use the shift button and I absolutely hit the caps lock. Oh, 
over here. There is a treasure chest up there. And of course, in an RPG, if you can save, always save. Elevator offline. Kyber mesh battery required. Please use laser crane for safe handling. Yeah, the music is great, isn't it? like a device would fit here. Right. ID card is required to operate crane. Of course it is. Alright, gotta go find an ID card. one. Yeah. I don't think there's really any way to sneak past these things. They just know. Your 
ocean Lay all your love on me Yoink Duh. Carbon mesh battery printer missing components one blueprint disc, one Kyber core, one power unit. So we're missing some stuff. Ah, well, now we have the ID card. Wait, is there? I feel like I should be able to get the pass there, but. Alright. We have the ID card. Jeez. <laughs> I like the look of that. Why are there so many? What's this? Bring us star. I'm just a lever puller. Alright, I'm gonna deal with these guys first. These aren't too bad. These aren't so bad. Oh, uh, they're shielding each other. That movie was so fun. Shame the following movies were crap bottom tier. There we go. 
Aha! That's an egg. Found the blueprint disc. Found some sashimi. And we found some gold. It's almost three. Need to go to bed and stop playing Final Fantasy XIV. Technically, I'm overtime, but... You really blame me. It's such a fun game. Ugh, I am not looking forward. Okay, once again, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. You know the feeling. <laughs> the game is so good! It's got one of them. Oh, well, that was kind of sad. Yeah, 550. Yeah, if you need to sleep, man. Totally understand. By the way, like, I mean, you'll also want some of your energy tomorrow, because tomorrow is karaoke night. This is fun, I know. I know. Power unit dispenser online. Please insert wire plate sheet. I don't have one of those. I do not have a wire plate sheet. I'm not sure where I would get one. spot. There was a safe spot somewhere around here, wasn't there? Pretty sure there was. Must have been inside here then. Yeah, it must have been earlier. Sashimi. Girl would be proud. Thank you. 
guess it doesn't really matter. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Come on. Yeah! Level up! Ding, 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 ding. battery printer missing components so I'll have some stuff that we don't have yet and that's okay <laughs> ah there it is rest and we'll save and I guess we'll have to come back to this another time I suppose it's what I get for wandering around too much without actually doing anything. <laughs> it's my own fault. <laughs> That's okay. Alright everybody, thank you again for joining me. I hope that you had fun, because I certainly did. Uh, thanks once again to Biron for the gifted subs. I really appreciate it, man. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, yes, tomorrow uh, we'll meet back here for some karaoke. The theme is American Singers. Pardon me, but uh, most genres will be open uh, as far as that goes. But uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna be it's gonna be a fun night. So I hope uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. But if I don't, then I will see you in the next one. Uh, let's see, who is on right now? Who should I give you to, guys? Like, who should I give you to? Uh... Okay, it looks like Empress is currently playing Final Fantasy VI. Let's go see... We'll go, uh, knock on her door, so to speak. Bye-bye!